Okay, good afternoon everyone. I'm Nick D for DIS. Uh, the water to my house has been shut off and it's not going to come on for 12 hours, but we got the Brave New World proudly announcing that Code Talkers released on December 31st, which is two days from now, and these are the additions. Uh, by Blood Alone, Unfinished Business Compatibility, Renovated Second West Russian War for all Russian tags in Germany, adding war weariness and morale mechanics. You uh, now must make deliberate movements across the battlefield, neither moving too quickly nor too slowly. Loss of morale will cripple your divisions while moving too quickly will result in nuclear war with the Reich. Uh, decisions have been added to turn down the heat of the war, including but not limited to propaganda and concessions to the unsigned Geneva Conventions. Uh, added several war crises, narrative events which affect the course of the war, and can bring new allies into the German side. Uh, generally made the Second West Russian War harder for Russian tags. RKs will no longer capitulate, preventing mass encirclements of the Wehrmacht in Moscow. The German AI should also be more aggressive and more competent. Uh, new Vladivostok negotiation mechanics. Instead of event chain, there's now a mini game with a GUI that Russian tags will play against Japan to take control of outer Manchuria. New Kazakh starting situation, mid-game Kazakhstan skeleton, showing the collapse of the Kazakh SSR and the rise of rebel groups who will attempt to seize control of the region. New America skeleton content, including the 1976 elections and Yaki and Hall scenarios. Uh, note this does not account for heart content, which should function properly with all other presidents. New Germany skeleton content before losing and winning the Second West Russian War. This includes potential German revolutions, the collapse of the Iron Heights Pact, or the reformation of RK Moscowine into a permanent shock on the Russian people. A little bit of extra 70s world flavor as a treat. Added a start game lore to all Russian warlords and other important cities. Uh, added chain of command features for all Russian factions, small flavor and bonus incentivizing peacefully integrating other warlords to maximize the quality of your generals. Uh, Shushkin's Novosibirsk rework, reworked to improve many events for overall quality. Added unique events for conquering or peacefully unifying with other super regional warlords. Reworked uh, Duma mechanics for quality of ease, uh, quality and ease of use. Both better displaying the Federation situation and bringing the mechanic into line with other TNO legislation mechanics. Uh, remade all Shushkin's focus trees from scratch, uh, bringing them into line with the United States uh, presidential focus tree rather than Russian warlord trees. Uh, reworked canon, second West Russian War, Russian Federation victory, improving leader localization in situations across Eastern European puppets to show more accurate a nuanced depiction of a Federation's occupation. Added four epilogue paths, all with unique mechanics and stories. Follow Vasily Shushkin to the end of the TNO timeline, or let him stand aside and choose a, choose a new way of the Federation. Bug fixes, they exist. Total Brave New World sweep achieved. I'm trusting the plan, and I'm Nick D4VIS, and I'll see you guys next time. Actually, as I said that, I uh, recommend if you guys want me to play any like Warlord. And the comment will probably play Omsk just because they get su such an insane manpower bonus. Uh, but I'm Nick D4VIS. I'll see you guys 